Hello, my beautiful students. Today, you will learn how to code an incredibly simple pattern generator that can take any sequence of bytes from Sheet Engine, then generate a signature that replaces the dynamic bytes with wildcards. This means you don't have to spend as long of a time manually creating signatures and you can let this tool work for you. The signature are specifically formatted to be easily pasted into an array of byte scanning tool, which means we can instantly search for the signature as well. If you're interested in C Sharp or game hacking, or maybe both, I suggest you join the family by subscribing. We're almost at 10,000 subscribers, and if you're really sweet, make sure to leave a like and a comment too. I will probably answer if it's something worthwhile. You can also access the source code with my coffee page for a couple of bucks, and the Discord link is fixed. As always, remember to read the terms of agreement slash usage for your game before trying any sort of memory operations. Now enjoy! Welcome to today's showcase. We will jump, jump right into it and take a look at what you will have at the end. This is the code and if we run it, this pattern generator, we can take any bytes from Sheet Onion in a 32-bit game for now. You can change it to work with 64-bit quite easily, but you can take code or bytes like this, click, then shift, then right click, copy to clipboard, bytes, then paste them here, click on generate, and you will get this beautiful signature pattern that we can use uh, to hopefully have a more robust trainer, which would ignore this, in this example, this address, which probably will change once the game updates. Because we have this pattern now with wildcards, these question marks, we can use something like the AOB tutorial, I will link to that, to scan for this signature instead and get so here is the address that we found with the AOB scan and here we can see in sheet onion if we go to the beginning of the bytes control G we can see that we found the address as well through array of bytes scanning so you can use this signature in a very in a very interesting way and i hope you like this tutorial enjoy hello and welcome to today's tutorial we will start by finding the array of bytes that we want to generate a pattern for so for today's example we have the beautiful game assault cube in assault cube i will find the instruction that covers the ammunition so it's decrements the ammo when we shoot. I have 10, sh I shoot, I have 9. So let's find the underlying value by creating a new scan. I remove that. Search for the ammo, which is 9. Shoot once, now it's 8. Shoot again, now it's 7. We have three results. That one is changing, let's hit scan again. And we have two results. Check the first one, it's 11, we know that it's our value, so I will, after going into edit settings, debugger options, using VEH debugger, we will right click, then find out what writes to this address, and then just shoot a couple of times, and we have our instruction, so let's go into the disassembler, and pick out our ar array of bytes that we want to scan for. So here we can see there is an opcode, a call for this address. So when we create our patterns, we usually don't want any addresses lying around in our array of bytes so that uh, when it changes, we can't find this memory allocation or uh, 
this memory sequence. So what we will do is we will take these bytes, find out how we can change this acclient.exe, this address, to be a uh, be some wildcards instead, so we can just ignore them within our scan. So you can click on one line, then shift, click on the next, a couple of ones down, then right click, copy the clipboard, we will copy the bytes only, then open the notepad and control V, control paste, and you will see this. This is the type of layout that we will work with. Okay, so the first step of creating our project will be to create a new Windows Forms application in Visual Studio and call it something with uh, pattern generation. I will use the .NET 6 framework. I don't think it really matters which one. Then to create the visuals, like in the showcase and so on, we will have to add two text boxes, two labels and a button. We will only set the text boxes to be multi-line and change the text of the labels, then double click on the button to get the event for the button click. That's it. Then we will create the only method for this tutorial, which is the generate pattern method it will return as a string and it will take an input in the form of a string as well. When you copy the bytes from Sheet Engine, they will have break lines within them. So we will create a new string array of lines and split them by the new lines. We will also delete empty entries. We will also create a new list which will hold the final signature. Now to separate the address and the bytes within the line we will create a new variable chunks and split it by the minus sign then we will get the bytes from the second element in the array and replace the forward slash r with nothing so you can think of the bytes part as the second part of the chunk and the first part is the addresses you see on the left Now that we have the bytes in the string format, we can loop through the bytes and check if it's an address or if it's zeros and so on and replace them with the correct wildcards. So we will loop it through and check if the length of a byte sequence is 8. This can check if it's 4 bytes in length or 8 characters and we can replace them with wildcards because addresses are more normally eight characters, at least in 32-bit games. You have some situations when it's not an address, but we can just change that manually later. Then we will also check if the byte is uh, zero, 00, which we will also replace them with question marks because that's how normally signatures look. Then we will have the last sequence, which we will split into twos because we, do, we want to keep the format of bytes in two pairs. The final thing we will do is to return the new string with some spacing and then call the function from our bottom click. We will wrap it in a try catch statement, then we will try it out. All right, so I made a little bit of an error before. It should be forward slash here at the end when we get the new line. And then I forgot to change the correct variable here. So it should be J plus equals two because it's J's loop, not the I. Okay, so let's try it out. If we run it. 
and we copy our bytes from earlier generate and what you look at we have a new pattern signature pattern that we could be using so here we have the question marks uh, after the 88 value and as you can see it's some sort of four bytes value maybe uh, an address 88 so this is not an address this time but here at the e8 e8 we can see that the question marks blended all over the address so we generated the pattern which created wildcards for the address so it's not perfect you can see here that you might need to replace them with the original bytes but if you have a lot of code with a lot of addresses that you want to easily generate over you can use this method but you can also create a more advanced method than this which take more information into it for, for example if you copy the clipboard and then bytes plus opcodes maybe even comment and then use that information let's copy and paste it here we can see that we actually have information that we could interpret and replace with correct wildcards most of the time so this is just more of a fun little project to do and uh, i hope that you can continue in this and create something beautiful all right see you guys in the next tutorial